gotta lean Wednesday. back. Gotta... Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> they practiced that. <laughs> no, actually, we didn't. We're just that in tune. You're just that in tune. Oh, okay. Better than so, Turn okay. Back Tuesday. You don't want to see that move. No. <laughs> uh, we are back. talking about stuff that you would like to bring back because we noticed the other night watching The Bachelorette that all the guys were wearing skinny jeans. And skinny jeans are now out. Yeah. No, apparently the flare. Are you the fashion police? Oh, goof. The flare is back. The I know what you mean. Things. You know what else is coming back? What? These these old timey phones that we have now, they're I bringing the razor phone back. I oh, the, remember the, the, the razor phones because people like flipping them. I like the flip phone. I wouldn't mind bringing that back. And game shows are coming back. Yes, yeah, Sunday nights here on KSAT 12. Pretty soon we're going to be playing to tell the truth, uh, oh, match that's a game, good one. and Family Feud. And match Pyramid. game. So wow. game shows are now the new big thing because they don't want to pay people to act on TV. What's old is new. <laughs> And, you know, hairstyle changes um, are coming back as well. Are we um, doing beehives? Or what's happening? Big hair, uh, well, what's happening? Well, apparently, uh, Jeff, you think the mullet is coming back. What? Yeah. What? Look at what I found on his MySpace. Oh, jeez. Look at oh, that. Oh, that's hilarious. Look at that hair. Well, wait. Look whom I'm with. I'm with Billy Ray Cyrus. For <laughs> that is that, hilarious. That's like true. bookends with your hair. <laughs> <laughs> well, remember a couple of years ago, the Farrah Fawcett hairdo tried to make a comeback. Oh, the feathered, the feathered the feather. thing. So yeah, Mouton tried that. Yeah. I, I thought I rocked it pretty well, actually. <laughs> <laughs> she said rock it. She sure did. <laughs> is that not hip? That I don't know. <laughs> It is. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thanks, guys. We'll take it from here. So we want to know, you know, what would you bring back? What would you bring back? I like the flip phone idea. I, you know what I miss? I miss um, the, the actual keyboards on the phones that were actual keyboards, not the screen keyboard, but the actual slide out keyboard that you can't find anymore. Oh, I got a bunch of that stuff in the garage. I love that. I, I never had, like, typos on that thing. I think TV dinners are going to make a comeback. When did they stop? Did they well, stop? I mean, <laughs> well, they came in a tray. Oh, uh, okay, the whole you, tray thing. And yeah. yeah, when the once the microwave showed up, it's like we don't put anything in the oven anymore because you can't put <laughs> aluminum foil in there. Right. I always wonder why radio dinners never made it, but TV dinners <laughs> were big, and you get sandwich style food. What would you bring back? What would you make popular again? Let us know at SA Live KSAT on Facebook and Twitter, and we'll air some of those ideas later on in the show. Everything old is new again. That's right. There's nothing new. <laughs> Even some hairstyles are coming back, like we mentioned. And if you want to add some flair to your summer hair, Vanessa Viscano from Blow Blow Dry Bar is here. Hey there. Hi. So we we're talking about stuff that, you know, old that is, you know, new again. Are there any hairstyles that are kind of coming back around? Well, right now we have our uh, summer seasonal hair menu out. So... This is basically just summer beachy textured waves. And this here, what I'm doing is a kind of a high pony. And of course we have to cover the hairband. We never want that showing. Okay, so this is Marielle, by the way, uh, sitting here. This is our SA Live intern. Hey, Marielle. <laughs> Marielle's an 09 er Marielle, what's your biggest frustration with your hair on a daily basis? Um, the humidity is killing my hair these days so bad. So it's hard to like, Get it straight. What do you do about that? Um, stay inside oh. or. <laughs> <laughs> What's the best thing to do about that? Humidity when you're trying to style hair. Basically, don't touch it when you go outside. That's key. Using good products and everything like that. Um, here at Blow Blow Dry Bar, we have great products for the humidity. I actually put some glossing spray on her. Helps combat all right. that humidity. Can you tell people what you just did? What I did here. They didn't see it. Oh, what I did here was I wrapped around. The ponytail to cover the little rubber band and everything so we never want that showing okay okay and that's our uh, swept away what do you think i love it i'm ready <laughs> i'm ready to show it off <laughs> Shout out to this you're looking for a man aren't you <laughs> come on this is your chance this is yeah, the best here, here personal ad ever Marielle. Well, here it is. <laughs> say, like, <laughs> this cast this cast is killing me <laughs> there you go there she is you want to be an intern on the show you got to pay the price all right, all right. Ashlyn. let's go over here to ashlyn okay so what are we going to do on ashlyn okay hair? so with ashlyn here we actually already have the swept away and it's basically the beachy wave as well with a little side sweep here right behind the ear we did a little bit of teasing so is that look just really in right now, the whole beachy wave, Victoria's yes, Secret kind of it model is. fold? Tossled. Sexy, but not really trying yes. to be sexy. And so here I'm totally just going to demo. What's <laughs> happening? <laughs> here I'm going to demo our third style. I'm going to take this down real quick, and we're going to do the top knot in just a moment. And so this is a look that it, it's just easy to kind of do and throw up. 
Yes, at and the it's last actually minute. called our off-duty cutie. So, off-duty you know, cutie. You are out of work and you pull it on up. Really? And you can, you, you have a menu at Blow Dry Bar yes. where you can just kind of flip through the pages and pick the exact look that you want. What are some of the ones on the menu? We have, well, we definitely have our seven signature styles. And right now, like I said, this is our summer seasonal menu. And these are three new styles that incorporate one of our most popular ones, which is the um, Pillow Talk. And it's just a variation on it. Pillow Talk. It's pillow Talk. Okay. Nice tassel look. What are some of the other ones called? And we also have the Hollywood, which is um, some fun curls, big Texas hair, of course. It is Texas. And then we have the executive suite um, and then the red carpet. So is, is long hair going to remain in style or is it okay to cut it all off? Definitely long hair is in for a while, to be honest. Okay, because we go through thing. phases where it's like, yes. oh, the mom cut. No, <laughs> don't do it. Uh, no, definitely not the mom cut. Kate Gosselin called, it's wants not... her hair back. It oh. looks, looks like the heat miser. Oh, okay, Gosselin's <laughs> hair. Oh, don't say it, don't say it, don't uh, say it. Say it isn't so. Hey, no, but... right now is long, tousled hair. And when, when folks, and when folks go to um, Blow Dry Bar, you, you can make an appointment, you can literally go before work or go before you have an event, and y'all will take care of them. Oh, yes, definitely. Now, you can book online or you can just give us a call. We also have an app. It's very easy to book online. And um, if you But y'all will shampoo, you'll style yes. the hair. It's wash, blow, and go. We make it as easy as possible. And Vanessa, I have You're two little... You're not cheating on your hairstylist. I have two little girls. It's okay to bring kids in there, right? Oh, yes, of course. They, they probably feel like a princess once you're oh, done. Oh, yes. We get that all the time, actually. You get the wolf and poof going. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and y'all have a uh, new location opening up where? Yes. Um, our new location just opened up at the Dominion Ridge Shopping Center. And so, yes, that's our sister location. Um, I'm Barboss at our Lincoln Heights location. And so definitely give us a call at either one. Are the side ponies going to come back? Because I hear the 80s. There's a punky Brewster look coming back. <laughs> I mean, maybe. You never know. <laughs> maybe, unless it's 80s night here on, on SA Live. That's great. All right. What is the most popular color that, peop that people are, like, tinting their hair now? I notice, you know, you kind of have that look going on. I've been seeing it everywhere. That gray is supposed to be big, well, right? Yeah. it's summer, so right now a lot of highlights are coming back. The um, balayage and all that is in. So is there any particular, like, pink? Teal, purple, what's teal the most? Teal is very in. Teal is very in. I <laughs> yes. figured since you've got, you're rocking that right mm -hmm. now. Okay. So are we almost, is that it? Yes. Oh, there we go. Right here. Oh, it's a mini bow. So it's, yes. it's a mini, mini it's top knot. Mini top knot. That's why it's the off-duty so, kitty. Mini you top. get out of work and there you go. Yes. Like, like Cinnabon. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like Cinnabon. Top knot. That's top great. Knot. Do you get like that? Right. You like that, Ashlyn? I is that it. Is good? <laughs> you like that? All right. Very good. <laughs> All right. Well, for more information on Blow, Blow Dry Bar, just visit salive.com where we've provided a link. Thank you so much, Vanessa. I'll be by a little later for some wispiness. <laughs> Flamingo Day is happening this weekend at the San Antonio Zoo, and we love celebrating. Oh, uh, yes. I went behind the scenes and stood on one leg really? with a few, that, yes, just like this, with a few doing? new oh, friends. You're Hold leaning on. on me. Hold on. There yeah. we go. I have here, to. I always lean on you. <laughs> I know. <laughs> All right. Hi there. Hello. What? What? Are you jealous? Yeah. You need a bath. I know. I know. Now that I have everyone's attention, everyone stand like this. <laughs> Anyone else feel like they're on a lawn in Florida? Well, World Flamingo Day is coming up here at the San Antonio Zoo, so we are inside the Caribbean and Chilean Flamingo exhibit, and joining me is Linda Moon, animal care specialist. Now, we've got all these birds behind us. Which ones are Chilean and which ones are Caribbean flamingos? Well, the uh, larger, pinker ones are going to be the Caribbean flamingos, and the smaller ones are going to be our Chilean flamingos. They're quite talkative. Yes, they are. They love to talk and they love to squawk. So these are the babies from last season, so they're growing up. Yes, they're almost a year old now. They are just getting their pink coloring right here, you can see. Oh, look at that, right there, yeah. Where does the pink coloring come from? So the pink coloring would come from in the wild, what they eat, the shrimp and crustaceans. Uh, but here we give them a formulated flamingo diet that already has everything they need. So that's what gives them the color. Yes. It's basically what they're eating. This is Falcor. This is actually our youngest from our last season. Very friendly and very sweet. 
the breeding program here is extremely important. Yes, we were actually uh, one of the first zoos in the country to raise flamingos. And we've been doing it for over 50 years now. And we actually pr provide flamingos to all the other zoos. So what does it take to take care of these guys? Well, it takes a lot. We maintain their exhibit. We rake and hose. And every day we come and feed them. Um, but that's only the tip of the iceberg here at the zoo. When breeding season starts, we pick up their eggs, we put dummies, and we incubate them in our incubation room. And then we actually hand raise them ourselves. So every single one of these guys is hand raised. Yes. So uh, they're they're quite comfortable with uh, yes with humans. Basically, Linda, we're going to clean yes. their exhibit. Yes. We are going to clean a little bit and give them a little bit of dinner. Oh, that's great. Okay. Well, it, it's quite pungent. <laughs> yes. In here. Yes. Flamingos tend to uh, smell a little bit but they thrive in it. It is part of their environment. Stay with the nostrils. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay, okay, Fiona. Uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna rake the uh -huh. leaves and feathers into a pile. Okay. And that will help clean the exhibit and keep it a good environment for these guys. All right. I hope you guys remember who's doing this for you. You like? You like? <laughs> That'll be $5. <laughs> All right, it's feeding time. What exactly am I feeding them, Linda? So right here is our adult flamingo breeder diet. Uh, it's in a pellet form. All right, you guys, here we go, here we go, here we go. It's feeding time. Wow. That is not my, that is not food. That's not food either. Food's right here. Food is right here. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. There we yes. go. Okay, look, it's all over there, you guys. Here we go. Yay! Dinner time. Rub it up, dog. You guys, let's go! The ducks are getting to them first! World Flamingo Day coming up on May 28th here at the San Antonio Zoo from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. There's gonna be all sorts of activities going on. Yes, we are gonna have animal keeper chats with these flamingos. We are going to have uh, interactive tables and I think we're actually going to pull out one of our flamingos to show to everybody. All right, great day for the family. Bring the kids. For more information on the San Antonio Zoo, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. And when you click, you gotta use one leg. That's what I'm doing. What do you call, about, what do you call a group of, don't fall over. What? What, what do you, don't break your heel. What, what, do you, what do you call a, a group of flamingos? Isn't it a flock? Is that a I know it's flock? gaggle of geese. A gaggle of geese. A flock of flamingos? Is it a murder? A what? gaggle? A flock of flamingos? Let us know. A herd? At SA Live KSAT. <laughs> These are the questions. I, I need to check Antonio the Google. Wants to <laughs> we may know something. All right, coming up. How vodka, yes, vodka can help keep bugs away. I knew it. <laughs> we'll share some DIY summer hacks with you next. That's why we're mosquito free. Free. <laughs> <laughs> and later, he's one of our local favorites. Lucas Jack is back. And he's going to perform songs from his new CD. When consider we can beat the summer heat with these summer beauty hacks. We've got Alamo City Moms blogger Amanda Gentis here. Oh, this is all stuff that we can use over the summer. This is stuff for your hair. This is for bug spray and, of course, for your skin. What are we going to start with? So we are going to make four things that everybody can make at home. Okay. All of these are easy to get ingredients. The first thing we're going to start with is a DIY lotion. Now, coconut oil, you can use it for everything. Oh my and gosh, my you can. Favorite thing to do mm -hmm. with you it. You can cook with it. You cook yeah. with it. I mean, is we put a half a cup of coconut oil in the mixer um, with a few drops of the vitamin E oil. Ah, okay. Makes it like super luxurious. Okay. Run it for about 10 minutes. Uh-huh. And we end up with a lotion that is Look at just that. the lightest. Um, it's like, I mean, it's like whipped butter. Wow, like it just, look And it just at melts that. into your skin after a shower. So that takes about five to 10 minutes, whip it up. It should be about room temperature when you put it in the mixer. Um, if it's a little bit oily, like it's not whipping, mm -hmm. 
pop it in the fridge for a couple seconds. Okay. Okay. Couple minutes. Um, the second thing we're going to make is a pool hair mask. Um, uh, this is not something that I've ever experienced with dark hair, right, but, but I have for, a blonde daughter. Right. And yeah, it'll <laughs> turn your hair green. Your hair will do green. that. So we're going to take a half of a juice of half a lemon. I'm so I have, I have, have it here. You need to wipe a little um. bit. <laughs> juice of half a lemon. Um, two tablespoons baking soda. So I'm just going to eyeball this. Ooh, there we go. It's going to fizz a little bit. Oh, look at it fizzing. Yeah. Okay. Mix it up. And so this is going to, you want to put this so then we're, on yeah. your child's head before or, they go into the pool? If, um, no, this isn't after. after this is after. Okay. A little, like a half a teaspoon of a gentle um, shampoo, maybe a baby shampoo. Uh -huh. Work this in through your hair, right? So here we have this yummy, lemony smelling goodness. Mm -hmm. Um, work it into your hair, pop a shower cap on for about 30 minutes. Okay. And then jump in the shower and shampoo is <laughs> normal. I just felt like wearing one. I love it. <laughs> Fashion statement. Right. Um, so 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Let it soak. Um, shampoo it out with your regular shampoo and conditioner and it should pull all of that green chlorine hair look right right out okay now this one is my favorite what um, is this we're gonna make a berry lip stain oh my gosh so it's so like a lip gloss lip stain like lip gloss type thing stain. okay so we just need a couple of these berries okay. we need like two or three raspberries and two or three blackberries mash that up for me okay here we go yeah we've got about and a minute left Okay. I'm mashing. We're going to add a little bit of the vitamin E because it makes so it vitamin super e again. soft. Okay, vitamin for the e lotion again. and yep. for this. Okay. I'm going to reach across you. I'm so ahead. sorry. Nope, go ahead. I'm A mashing. little bit of the grapeseed oil, like a half a teaspoon. Whoops. And we let that macerate in there with those berries, get it good and mixed up. This is a great kid Oh, yeah, project. they're going to have so I much mean, fun yes. doing this. Maybe outside, I don't know. Yeah, outside, especially <laughs> with somebody like me. Let's strain it into the extra bowl. Dump it right in there. Okay. So we're going to mash that through there. Push that on through. Mm -hmm. And then the finished product. Right. So then we're going to put it in these little travel containers, pop it in the fridge to let that oil kind of solidify. And then the final, oh, my hands are all oily. There we go. You got it? Oh, there we go. <laughs> That's the final That's product. Funny. Yep, and it oh. just, and it makes a nice berry stain. It makes you, your lips look like you just ate a pound of berries or some Oh my gosh, it popsicle. tastes so good. It tastes good, it smells good. Um, okay. I don't recommend leaving this one on a hot car because, you know. Well, yeah, no, it'll completely melt. Okay, completely real melt. quickly, because okay, we are totally fast. out of time. All right. This is a do-it-yourself bug spray, and the main ingredient is? Vodka. 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 I was wondering so why I don't get take, bit a lot. I know, right? <laughs> it's like a, a bug spray cocktail. Two tablespoons of vodka. Okay. Two tablespoons of essential or uh, grapeseed oil. Okay. And then some of these essential oils: um, clove, cinnamon, cedarwood, lemon, eucalyptus, rosemary, lavender. They're all good bug keeper awayers. So we're just going to make a little batch here. We'll put a couple drops of lavender in. Um, you're going to want about, oops, that one's kind of empty. Mm -hmm. That was not a good choice. So we'll have all of these, yep. of course, do-it-yourself ideas and exactly what Amanda used here on our website. So just head to salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab, and you can get <laughs> all these ideas for the hair mask, the summer lotion, the lip stain, and, of course, the, bugs, the vodka bus spray. Bus spray. Coming up, we'll introduce you to... K-9 veteran Sergeant Rambo and share his amazing story. And later, summer is just around the corner. We've got some easy nature crafts you can do with your kids for summer camp fun right there at home. Thursdays. Hey, welcome back to SA Live. I'm Jeff Roper. Thanks for watching and make sure you DVR the show and share it with your friends and make sure you set it to record every day. This past weekend, I had the opportunity to travel with some really important people here in San Antonio and around South Texas. 26 World War II veterans joined Honor Flight San Antonio for the trip of a lifetime. One of those veterans was a member of the K-9 Service Unit. I want you to meet Sergeant Rambo and hear his incredible story with his owner and veteran, Lisa Phillips. A veteran aboard Honor Flight San Antonio that everyone wants a picture with. Meet Sergeant Rambo, a Marine service dog who, while injured in training, 
still has an impressive record despite losing a leg. He was stationed out of Cherry Point, North Carolina with his handler, Brandy. They did 620 stateside searches, two official stateside missions, and about a thousand hours of training in his year and a half of active duty. So in that short time, he, he did quite a bit. For Rambo to be with this particular honor flight means a lot. My grandpa, um, he was my inspiration for joining the Army. He was a bombardier, and I wasn't obviously going <laughs> to join for, for that. I mean, we weren't in war at war at the time either, but I loved animals. And so when I joined, there was one position open to be a vet tech in the whole United States. So I said, thank you, Lord. I will take it. <laughs> she knows how important dogs like Rambo are to the military community. That's why she works so hard to help pass the canine members of the Armed Forces Act, which classifies working dogs as military members, not just weapons. He, I think, brings out joy. And he, I think, lets them know that, hey, it's so Okay, if you're suffering an injury, whether it's um, you know like PTSD or an actual bodily injury, you can overcome. He gets around just great on three legs. So as we unload to visit the World War II Memorial, Sergeant Rambo puts on his uniform to pay tribute. Just, it's a special experience. And then when you see the stars, there's a wall of stars, and each star represents 10,000 lives lost. And I mean, it's it's overwhelming. And just to experience this trip with each veteran and to be able to share these memories with them, that's what it's about. I mean, it's about having this camaraderie with them. And a lot of us as guardians actually are veterans. And I think especially with us, like we understand, maybe we don't understand what they went through, but we understand being in the military and what you give up. And you're pretty much saying, hey, I will give my life for this country. From visiting the Air Force Memorial, the Navy Memorial, the Marine Memorial, Arlington and the changing of the guard, the moment that these men and women arrive at the World War II Memorial brings Rambo's journey full circle. Hearing their stories, being a part of that memory, even for a brief moment, being a part of that special moment where they're opening up, um, whether they tell their story or not, but they're just able to, I think, get closure. And that's the story of Sergeant Rambo. If you'd like to be a part of Honor Flight San Antonio or you know a deserving vet who should take that journey, please log on to their website at honorflightsanantonio.com. And we'd like to thank Air Force Federal Credit Union for support of our trip. You can find them online at airforcefcu.com. And please be back here tomorrow. We'll tell you the story of Pete Vera, a San Antonio man who was an ambulance driver in World War II and where life has taken him in the years since that war. Coming up on SA Live, we want you to go way back with us. What would you make cool again? Well, Don Johnson. I mean, who doesn't love a good white jacket and no socks? Right, Tubbs? And Lucas Jack tickles the ivories straight ahead. like to feature a cool spot around town with the CPS Energy Cool Zone. This week's Cool Zone is the Luxury, located at 103 East Jones Avenue. Avenue, excuse me. It's a cool hip place. You can take the entire family during the weekend to catch a game or just even a sweet date night out with your sweetie. The Luxury features a revamped outdoor area with a swing set that overlooks the river walk and cool games like bocce you can play with a group of friends. They're also known for their tasty signature french fries and long list of beer and food options. That's this week's CPS Energy Cool Zone. We'll share another cool spot around town next week. He's singer-songwriter and pianist extraordinaire Lucas Jack, and he's known for his power tenor voice, and you are definitely one of our favorites. So welcome Thank back. You Thank you for having me. I got to tell you, you're leaving town? You're leaving us? I am. I'm moving to St. Louis, yeah. Why, 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 why? You know, my wife got a, <laughs> got a really great job offer there, and she's from there, so we have family there, and mm -hmm. she's got a great job, so... She's uh, getting out of the Air Force, and we are leaving San Antonio. Oh, well, we thank her for her service. Please pass that along. I will. All right, so you've got a new album out. I do. It's called Make It Beautiful. It's coming out in June. Uh, why call it Make It Beautiful? 
Uh, make it beautiful is something that my daughter tells me when uh, when I'm playing too loud. She what she says it's it's loud. It's like a big storm. Make it beautiful. I want the beautiful one. So then I play very you know very quietly, and she says, Oh that yeah, that's the beautiful one. Oh, I love that. And so what are you gonna play for us today? I'm gonna play a song called Hey Little Darling. And who is that about? That uh, it's kind of about my my daughter Josie. Your daughter Josie, because you have two, right? Two daughters, Clementine two daughters. and Josie. Yeah. And how old is Josie? Josie is uh, 18 months. 18 months. Oh. All right, okay, so can't really quite talk yet. Still kind of getting Crazy. used to she's, everything. She's, she's moody. <laughs> she's the song was written when she was uh, much less moody. She was much, much less. Much sweeter. <laughs> much sweeter, okay. And so are most of the songs on your album personal about your... A lot of them are, are personal. Uh, there are two or th yeah, like three songs that are kind of about becoming a father and uh -huh. my little girls. All right, okay, and you have a farewell party happening on June 3rd. Yeah, June 3rd is my CD release show and farewell show at Sam's Burger Joint. All right, there it is on the screen. Friday, June 3rd, Lucas Jack's farewell show at 7.30 at Sam's Burger Joint. For more information on his new album, Make It Beautiful, head to our website, essaylive.com, where we've provided a link. Okay, Linda? I'm good. It's going to be all right. Hey, welcome <laughs> back to SA Live. Yes, back to nature. Jeff Roper here with Linda Charlton. She is from the Cibolo Nature Center. Indeed. And Bernie. Indeed. And summer camps are right around the corner. We were, I was just playing with this, you know, piece of nature. This is it a is. stick. It is. It is. It's a great you know, when, stick. Right? When I was growing up, we didn't need video games. We had we had sticks. sticks yes. And I drank out of the... <laughs> Spick it. Yes, right. That's how it works. But you've <laughs> right got some hose. great crafts that we're going to do with kids, and you're offering a bunch of different summer programs. We do. Well. So we have a we have summer camp, eight weeks of summer camp. Um, so we'll do that from June 20th till a, August 12th. We have four different kinds of camp. We have a preschool camp. Yes. We have a farm camp. We have a nature camp and an art camp. This is really cool because you're going to you encourage kids to use what we find in nature to make cool stuff. Absolutely. And I'm guessing this is like florist tape or any kind of masking it's, tape? Yeah, it's just tape. Tape. So we're going to make... 
Uh, We're going to make pollinator bracelets. Pollinator bracelets. Pollinators. So there's four kinds of pollinators, right? Bees, bats, birds, butterflies, and uh, bees, bats, birds, butterflies. Yeah, that's it, four. <laughs> okay. So there's four kinds of pollinators. And one of the things that they do is have sticky stuff on their legs. So when they go into a flower, it will, it will, things will stick on it. So, so we'll, a little kid, even a littlest kid that can just walk, can walk, go on a nature hike, and with a piece of tape, and find all these different things. Can, this is right out of my yard. They're so. pollinating. Right. Look at this. Look what and I made, they, Mommy. They're pollinating. <laughs> Look what I brought in, Mommy. Yeah. Yeah. Look at there. That's how the bees do it, Mommy. Exactly. That's just really like cool. that. Yeah. That's you it. are an excellent, excellent pollinator. You were let meant me, to be doing Let me tell part. you, I have two little girls, and the things they bring in from the yard, <laughs> it's like, really? Yes. Okay, check your shoes. Exactly. All right, so We're now, not hoping for that kind of now comes the stick, because there are four different kinds of ecosystems at Cibolo Park. There are, right? right? So we have a forest, which is where this stick came from. We have a marsh, we have a prairie, and we have a creek or a riparian zone. All right, so what do we but do with it? Kids love to decorate sticks and then walk with them. So this stick I brought, it's a, it's a cedar stick, um, so it has this cool, funky bark on it. But... Uh, can I do it's, this? Absolutely. I do That's exactly I want, right? what you're meant to do with it. Okay. So the more creative, the more fun you have with it, the more kids will like it. So tape. These are just little rubber bands. Um, we can put uh, yarn on it. You can paint it too, but paint's a lot messier, so you have to be up for that job. That's you why know? you brought the tape. That's why I brought the tape. For me. Because <laughs> I didn't want to have to clean up after you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you sound like a lot of people I know. So all this, like when you talk about the different ecosystems when they come out there and the camps, what are you going to be doing in the camps besides crafts? So we also we'll do a lot of hiking and we do a lot of outdoor stuff. We have and we have lots of fun things that we learn to do. We do fishing. We do um, we do um, skimming for animals. So you can look in the in the marsh, look in the creek, and see if you can find. Um, Dragonfly larva. Oh wow! Or, so good. Uh, tadpoles. This, this is the time to go ahead and buy your kids a microscope. I did that the other day. I yes. went over to Learning Express and bought a microscope for my 12-year-old because she wants to see things up close and personal. Yeah. So you send them out, and they come to your camp and bring it home and look at Absolutely. it under the microscope. Absolutely. Yeah. We have a camp that is just a scientist camp, so the there kids you go. can come and do all sorts of science experiment kind of things. Okay. So I get the point. We can wrap yarn around right? it. Yarn. Do all sorts of cool rubber stuff. Rubber bands. And that way you, you, you have a Got decorative lines. walking See, stick. And you, you have also added oh. some, well, some poll milkweed pollen. I, po I pollinated on you, my stick. Yeah, you're, right. you're very good. At this. <laughs> I love this. This yeah. is total little boy stuff. <laughs> exactly. Now, what else? So we can also do this. is a little more complicated, but we can make these um, animals. So this one was meant to be a bird. This one was meant to be some sort of deer. Oh, look at there. So you can use what you find. Right. And uh, use items from nature, because this is all paper. All right. And then trees. And then and trees, yep. You can make little antlers. Make little, little... And use the tape to, to, to hold them in. Yep. He's stapled here and stapled here. And these are just holes from a hole puncher, like this one. Um, and then we just... And then he kind of moves around, and he's just very cute. There he is. Some great yep. ideas. Cibolo Nature Park. Thank you, Linda. Thank you very much. Where can people find out more? Cibolo.org. C-I-B-O-L-O. -O. Very good. Okay, we're coming back on SA Live. We're going to be cooking. Mm, tomorrow at 1, an easy, crispy, skin salmon recipe you can make on the grill. Fiona's going to show you how with another edition of Cooking with Fiona, right? That's right. Receive 10000 If you have wrinkles or bags under your eyes, get ready to be amazed. Amy Vanderoff is here to share this skin technology from Plexiderm mm -hmm. that will amaze you right before your very eyes. Yes. Now, before we start this, yes. I just want everyone to know we're going to leave up an untouched time-lapse video throughout the segment so That's you right. can see the product working. It, there it is. That's Richie. Okay, because this is a fast, fast-acting product, Jeff, we wanted to show our model live during the segment so you can see how this works. Plexiderm is your solution for those under-eye bags, the crepiness, the wrinkles, the thing that makes you look so tired, like Richie here. Sometimes it's because of, you know, it's a hereditary thing. Sometimes it's irritants because of allergies. Plexiderm is a cousin 
cosmetic fix that's going to take and eliminate that almost okay. instantly. So how are you getting rid of the bags under my eyes? <laughs> okay, so as you see the video, everyone's asking, how does this work? What's the active ingredient? This is derived from shale rock, clay. So the active ingredient is silicates. And when applied under your eye, clean, dry skin in the morning while you're getting ready, within minutes, you see the lifting, the tightening. It's drawing moisture to the top of your skin. And it's something that you can see happening before your very eyes. We're going to demonstrate that in before and after pictures and also with a re real time lapse that we're showing with our model, Richie. And we're watching Richie and we're getting into the time lapse. This is almost unbelievable as things begin to change there. This is not a cream. This, this is a cream. It's not an injection. That's right. So we're going to look at the treated eye and untreated eye over the next few minutes. So it takes some time to work and we've asked our model not to smile. So that's another thing. You want to kind of keep your face still as it's setting, as it's doing its thing. But you know, think about what's happening underneath your eye. Just like I say, sometimes your, your tummy gets a little pooch as you get older. The, the things that kind of are holding the fat in kind of give. Same thing, those membranes that are underneath your eye that keep the fat in place. Just like anything happens, gravity, things begin to droop. That's why we notice the sagginess, the bags as we get older. They kind of appear out of nowhere. This is something that addresses those. And you've seen this technology all over social media. You've seen it on your Facebook and your Instagram channels. Plexiderm is what you're Look seeing. At that. And that's right. That's about after that's within three, three minutes. That's three minutes later. So you can see the lifting, the tightening, the bag virtually gone. The coloration is even different. Uh, and also that crepiness is gone. The fine lines are addressed. The wrinkles, a fresher look. And this is something I love that when we show men, because sometimes men think, not, of not applying under eye cream every day as much as women would. And this is a great fix for men who are suffering or are struggling, who are not at their personal best, feeling healthy and looking healthy sure. because of that. Well, I have to tell you, I've used it. Yep. And you can feel the difference once it begins to set in within minutes because your face begins to feel fresher. Yeah. It begins to feel tighter. Right. And it begins to really open your eyes a little bit That's more. Right. And, it, and it kind of releases some tension that you may be holding up above your cheekbone. Yeah, right. I, I, this is what I felt because okay. I, I, I put it on. That's great testimonial and feedback. We're about two and a half minutes into that video. You can already see the treated eye and the untreated eye. What a difference it makes. So again, this is the instant gratification, the cosmetic fix to address those under eye bags and wrinkles. And it's really that. amazing when you look at they Richie. They have almost disappeared. Look at, mm -hmm. look at that side of the screen over there. Really cool. We have a special for you guys as how, always. Wait, wait. How does this work with makeup? Oh, well, I'm glad you asked that too. Okay, so for women want to apply their moisturizers and makeup afterwards, you can go about your day, you're, you're going to want to use an oil-free moisturizer. An active ingredient to look for would be hyaluronic acid. We have one here on the table, and that's something that you're going to want to ask about when you call today, okay. because it's a great pair with this active ingredient to use in conjunction with your Plexiderm. Okay, we got a special for you. Yes, we do. We love specials. Buy two, get one free. Ask about that moisturizer. You're going to get huge discounts today. 40% off. I know, and so you're going to get multiple uses for this. Please don't keep this beauty a secret. Share it. Once you get two, and or uh, buy, yeah. buy two, get one free, you you're can share it. Your this. You're going to be out socializing over the <laughs> summertime, and, and, and you know, you're going to want to look your best, feel your best after a long day at work. Yes. You just pull this out, too, and you're, you're ready to go for That's the day, right? right? You're right. 1 800 906 0773. 1 800 906 0773. 1 800 906 0773. Remember the name Plex Aderm with an X. Plexaderm.com. Coming up on SA Live. You want to throw back? Yeah. What would you bring? You gonna bring it? Go ahead. I th plugged in. We wanted to know, what would you bring back? What's old that you want to make new again? Amanda says, put the toys and prizes back in cereal boxes and Cracker Jacks. Kids these days should experience that. That's good. I agree. I miss those. It'd be better to put money in it. Yeah, money would be good. <laughs> Free money. Well, Amanda's so excited about it, she told us again. Well, yeah, I, you know, I wish they'd bring back dial-up, because that was always fun. <laughs> Trying to get on the internet. <laughs> <laughs>